2851, turn right, heading 183. The problems look to be continuing over at Boeing, this time with regards to the 737 Classics, which are facing inspections from the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA said late last week that they had alerted Boeing that they required inspections for a total of 143 of the 737 Classics, following possible wire failures that stem from an incident that took place in January of this year. It means that the 737-300, 737-400 and 737-500 are impacted and it does not hurt that of the 737-NG or the 737 MAX which has been the variant that has been under heavy fire in the past couple of years. The 737 Classics are the oldest aircraft of the lot that are currently still in operations within the 737 family, with around 1,000 still flying worldwide at the time of recording. With it being more than two decades old, it is susceptible to new problems more than any other aircraft, and the FAA is noting that this airworthiness directive will see customers impacted needing to verify the flap synchro wire. This relates to the operation of the aircraft's auto throttle system. Now your question might be from that, what could potentially happen if this was to not be checked or fixed in the future? The wire would fail and while that is pretty self-explanatory, the fault would pose a risk to those on board with speed issues. This is a worst case scenario and something Boeing wants obviously not to happen under any circumstances. The reason this has all come about though was following the incident in Indonesia earlier this year that resulted in the passing of all 62 people on board a 737-500 that went down only shortly after taking off. Thanks to the ongoing investigation by the FAA and Boeing, the problem has been identified as something worthy of being looked at and obviously adjusted. However, while I said the reasoning was the investigation, the FAA were very vocal to note that this particular fault that is being looked at now was not the cause of the incident that they're investigating that happened in Indonesia. Rather, it is something that they have found that poses a safety risk to the 737 Classics overall. Now, it'll be the job of operators to take a look at this and get back to the FAA and also Boeing. Some of the carriers that have been impacted within the United States are the likes of DHL, Northern Air Cargo, and a whole lot more. If you have any thoughts on the new safety problem that has been found with the 737 Classics, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Obviously, we've been very used to issues with the 737 MAX, but to see the 737 Classic come out and have an airworthiness directive, it is certainly something new, but crossing our fingers, it will be sorted as soon as possible and won't lead to any lengthy delays or groundings, as that is the absolute worst case scenario for these operators that will be seeing their fleets at the moment halted while inspections are carried out to not only determine if the issue is not as widespread as naturally would be hoped, but also on top of that to make sure that the issue does not pose a major safety concern to the point of where the type needs to be grounded for months on end. Thank you very much for watching this video and until the next one, please do take care and be safe.